Hi, I'm Will, and this is my friend George. Today, we're going to the park to look at some examples of physics in our life. Yep. Who knows, we might even find some examples of simple harmonic motion. <laughs> Welcome to the park. I found an example of simple harmonic motion. Now, in a little bit, I'm going to be doing an experiment on the conservation of energy with this with this swing. Stay tuned to find out. Hey, now I'm going to be doing this experiment. Now, conservation of energy states that when I when I pull this up to my nose and let go, it will not hit my nose again. Because up there, up there, George, just point the camera up there. Yep. Yep. Now there's a little bit of friction there. That'll slow it down so it just doesn't hit my nose. Also, air resistance. The chain, air, friction slows it down a little. Anyway, let's get on with the experiment. This won't hit my nose, hopefully. Yes, it didn't. You know why? Because it slowed down. Thanks. Hey, this is the spinning bowl. You know what it does? It spins. You know what things that spin do? They have an angular velocity. It now has an angular velocity. Now, if I were to sit in this, which I am going to do, and get George, my cameraman, and very good friend, to spin me around, then I would feel a force pushing towards the outside. This is known as centripetal force. So, now I am in this bowl and I'm going to get my best friend George to spin me around and I'll see what kind of forces I encounter. Yes. Let's go. Shall I still film while I spin? Uh. Yes, okay. still film. Let's go. Wee! Now, I'm getting quite dizzy now, and it's very, very hard to move my head up. That's because I, I'm being exerted on by centripetal force. This is pushing me towards the outside of the circle, and is making me really, really dizzy. Oh, this feels weird. Whee! Yep. Hello. I'm here at my park switch, at my park slide, and I'm just going to slide down here. I wonder why I don't slide much, 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 much faster. See, I'm not going quickly at all. Well, it turns out that because I have a large surface area, and I've got jeans on, and I have rubber shoes. It turns out that the friction coefficient is probably quite large. So, if I were to get a ball that has, say, that's say made of metal or rubber, well, not rubber because that's quite friction. -y. Now, if I were to slide a ball down here, then it would move pretty effortlessly because the force wouldn't, the force of friction wouldn't be so great because it would have a lower coefficient. Simples. Hey, I'm still on the slide and this time I'm wondering how much energy it takes for me to walk up this because it is quite hard. Ow. Now, I'm already starting to feel the strain. Now, I'm not going to calculate this right now, but Think about it. This, the amount of force needed to escape this, say, mm, about 30 degree, this 30 degree angle would be workoutable with trigonometric functions. Because, look, I can draw a right angle triangle. Where this be, where this be the hypotenuse and this be the vert be the hor be the vertical side and this be the horizontal side. 
So, it turns out I can calculate the force required to, to climb up the slide at a certain velocity. I really am going way too high! Someone stop me!